Crews will be on standby again today. The torrential rain we had last night forced crews to rescue several people you just saw across our region. At least three drivers had to be rescued, though, in Fountain alone last night after being swept off the road. Our Raleigh Carroll is live at Link Road in Old Pueblo and Raleigh. Rescue crews were busy last night. They did their job well, thank goodness, because it's a scary scene out there, and it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, Josh, it could have been a lot worse. Luckily, no one was physically harmed, but take a look at this car behind me. You can see all of the windows have been broken out in an attempt to get out. The water was above my head here last night, so this is just one of the cars stuck in the river here. There were two others as well in the creek bed. One of them, the water was so powerful, it actually flipped upside down and clogged a storm drain at the end of the creek, which obviously made it more difficult for the water to drain. It was already piling up. Up so high that flooding of course making the problems even worse and then Fountain Police received a 911 call from a person who needed to be rescued. He was able to get out onto the roof of that car but the car was physically moving and he was being swept away with the water as he was calling our dispatch center. He was able to jump from the roof or the hood of his car I'm not sure where exactly he mm -hmm. was to dry land and we were able to pick him up and take him home from there. Fountain police say they had almost three hours nonstop of heavy rain yesterday and five feet of water in some parts. And, you know, they are preparing for more flooding today. They say that they're expecting uh, more flooding, this particular creek to flood more. But this truck right here, one of this truck, I was talking to Wally. He owns this truck. He has a landscaping company, Let's Go Mow. This is his livelihood. This is his equipment that he uses to earn money, and it's stuck in the mud right now. He's figuring out a way uh, to, to get his equipment back up and running to make a living. And this truck, a, a total loss here sitting in the water, electrical damage, the windows are busted, um, you know, so it's it's really quite a mess out here in a scene that we're still working to figure out. But of course, we'll keep you updated and, and be safe out there. If, if you do see rising water, it's deeper than you might think. So just stay away, turn around and drive the other direction. It only takes a few inches of water to lift your vehicle up and sweep it away like it did for this car here. For now, live in Fountain, Riley Carroll, KRDO News Channel 13. All right.